The year 2020 was a bizarre one for anime and everything else pretty much, reminding most of us of Death Note sometimes. Numerous shows being paused and postponed. As a result, anime fans like us had to wait longer than expected for many of the year's most anticipated releases. For the largest part, totally worth it. There was a couple of us of the season. Food Wars, The Fifth Plate is a disappointing failed ending to one of the most popular anime adaptations of recent years. Japan Sinks 2020 totally missed the mark, or simply said, Japan Sinks stinks. Luckily, several shows managed to live up to the hype. For example, a couple of fan favorites returned with new seasons in 2020. Several brand new shows came out of nowhere to capture viewers' imaginations on both sides of the Pacific. From Ghibli-esque fantasies and cute slice-of-life shows, to mind-bending sci-fi and glitzy crime capers. These are the best anime of 2020, at least in my opinion, but watch out for spoilers in this one's title hunters. Let's start with Keep Your Hands Off Isokin, a pure delight. So, Masaki Yuasa's Japan Sinks 2020 that, to most people, actually sank. The director rehabilitated and oversaw one of 2020's success stories, the joyfully addictive and highly memed Keep Your Hands Off Isokin. Based on the manga by Sumito Awari, it's the story about three female students and their craving project. Midori is a talented artist with boundless imagination and a knack for drawing incredible landscapes. She meets a young model named Tsubame, also a talented artist, who prefers drawing the human form. Finding a business opportunity, Asakusa's infinitely more sensible best friend, Sayaka, proposes they team up and create their very own anime. Once again, four anime artists. Not anime lovers, we can't enter. However, their school already has an anime club, so the girls decide to start a motion picture club, Aizoken in Japanese, to cover their ambitious project. Getting the catchy opening song Easy Breezy by rap duo Kilmiko out of your head is a specific challenge. Plus, the free-flowing animation from the team at USA's studio Science Saru gives these 12 episodes a title of Unbridled Joy. Only a few anime that pop up every few years are life-affirmingly wonderful, and Keep Your Hands Off Isokin is definitely one of them. The series is a love letter to anime as a whole. Next we have Kakushigoto, My Dad's Secret Ambition. A bombing hit. It's a sparkling little slice of life comedy from the spring 2020 season. Kakushi Goto, My Dad's Secret Ambition. The series is about a man who draws ecchi, an adult oriented subgenre manga known for its sexually suggestive content. And raise a hand who doesn't like that. Somehow, we don't see any hands. With his daughter Hime born, Kakushi Goto makes it his mission to keep his line of work a secret. He pretends to be an average salary man, so she sees him as just a regular single dad. His office is far away on the other side of town, and his assistants all know the protocol if he may surprisingly shows up but of course the classic of the genre appears keeping the curious girl in the dark about his real job proves to be no simple task and kakushi is always paranoid as a result with no surprise this anime really touched the parents parenthood is known to make people analyze what kind of media they're consuming when you're the person actually creating the questionable media like my role model kakushi who writes and illustrates a manga called Balls of Fury, those anxieties are amplified. Kakushi's increasingly elaborate and increasingly amusing attempts at pulling the wool over Hime's eyes will leave you grinning ear to ear. Still, it's their sweet dynamic that stays with you after the end credits. It's followed by Otaki Aichi's 80s hit Kimiwa no Tenen Iru, which won the best spring 2020 anime theme song. Does Hime discover the truth? Find out yourself. Moving forward, we got It Invaded. It's a cerebral sci-fi that will keep you guessing. Original sci-fi series It Invaded occurs in the future. Well, where else would a sci-fi actually happen? Advanced technology lets a functional police squad named Kura tap into unconscious minds and collects evidence about homicide suspects. Investigators enter in Idwell and work with colleagues on the outside who search for the cognition particles that get forsaken after a murder. The show star is a former detective named Akihito, whose wife committed suicide after their daughter was killed. 
When the story continues two years later, Akihito is behind bars. He tracked down the murderer and took his revenge, like I'm sure all of us would. Even though he's in prison, Akihito still has the respect of former colleagues. His expertise in hunting down serial killers makes him a perfect candidate for the id well work, as does his criminal past. If you're not aware of the plot, only those who have committed murder themselves may enter a well. Fast enough, Akihito earns the nickname the Cornerer because of his knack for cornering serial killers into committing suicide. It doesn't exactly go down well with his superiors on the outside. As the show develops, he begins to reveal a dark secret that connects all the deaths he's been investigating. True detective of the anime, nothing less. Like a usual and excellent sci-fi anime, It Invaded is a show that keeps your total attention. Viewers are forced into this cerebral world at the deep and expected to stay loose. But for those with enough stamina, it's well worth the effort. Following next, we have Doro Hidoro, a weird and wonderful must-watch. Another triumph for Netflix in 2020, blazing in the darkest times. Doro Hidoro is a bizarre but brilliant post-apocalyptic anime about a man with a crocodile head looking for answers. Which, we all want answers, El Croco. K-Man was once just an NPC guy in the hole, a grim far-future city where humans live in fear. Sorcerers from another dimension regularly visit the hole, searching for human guinea pigs for their black magic experiments. Oh man, I got a lot of jokes about black holes, but um, we'll save those for other videos. And this is how uh, K-Man ended up as a croc from the neck up, with no memory of who did it. The show follows K-Man and BFF Nikaido as they hunt sorcerers in the hole, hoping to find the culprit and restore his human face. When word of their violent deeds reached a powerful sorcerer family, a conflict between the two dimensions explodes. MAPPA Studios, who created Yuri on Ice, Another magnificent anime of the year squeezed seven volumes of Q Hayashida's long-running manga into this jam-packed first season. It smashes several anime genres together while hurtling along at a breakneck pace. Everything from body horror to basketball is thrown into the blender. The result is a vivid and ultimately satisfying adventure. The relationship between Kaiman and Ikaido, a restaurant owner and chef who keeps her part reptilian comrade well fed, on his favorite gyozas is the show's true heart. Still, the writers also take the time to flesh out the villains, telling the story's sorcerer's side with a little bias. Kudos are also for the faithful character designs, which remain true to the source material. I'd like to finish this top list with a certain scientific railgun tea, an electrifying sequel series. That was a terrible joke. JC Staff dropped a new season of A Certain Scientific Railgun in 2020, reminding everyone of just how much of a blast this show really is. Based on Kazuma Kamachi's manga of the same name, A Certain Scientific Railgun takes place in Academy City, a landlocked sovereign state within Tokyo's borders. As the name would suggest, Academy City is jam-packed with schools and institutions where a blend of science and magic is taught. The Power Curriculum Program helps students unlock their supernatural potential and become espers, though only a few make it to level 5. Like the protagonist we follow, Electromaster Mikoto Misaka. Level 5 is already established as the highest attainable esper rank when the story begins. Still, there have been attempts to go further. A scientist obsessed with creating a level 6 esper turns his attention to Misaka in the 25 episode third season, which proved a hit for fans and critics alike. With overall excellent production value, Values and a charming mix of lighter character movements with extreme action and evolving mysteries. Railgun T lives up to the high standards of its predecessors and should entertain long-term watchers who have stuck with the series. So how do you like the video? Which of these titles would you like to watch? Or maybe you've seen all of them. Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss an upload, and you can enjoy the excellent content we send your way. I've been Broken Obsessed in My Otaku Ways, and I will see all of you people next time.